Hello, everybody, welcome to another video. And okay, all right, all right. So I've had to script for a while for uh, a potential Breath of the Wild sequel. And uh, you know, I was meaning to make the video before E3, uh, just to put up. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I'll put up something else that day. E3 will happen, and then I'll make this video. Uh, not you know putting together in my mind that they could, uh, you know, announce Breath of the Wild 2 at E3, which, uh, of course they did, so that's cool. I had to not rewrite the script, but I had to tweak it a bit to make sense for the current present setting of knowing that Breath of the Wild 2 is a thing, and that's gonna be dark and edgy, and Zelda's gonna have short hair now. Um... But yeah, so if uh, anything sounds weird in this video, just know, originally, this wasn't planned to be like a Breath of the Wild 2, we know it's happening type thing. It was more of like a, what if, what if this happened? But now it's happening, and now things are weird. But let's just get into the video. And the first thing I would like in this sequel is a better story. This is something that many people have said in the past, but the story in Breath of the Wild is kinda weak. There aren't many cutscenes and the plot is very cut and dry. But the cutscenes we did have, we got some cool character interactions and even just talking to NPCs had a lot of charm to it, but there wasn't enough of it. I presume the story is so weak because they just spent ages working on the core mechanics of the game. Since this sequel seems to be in the same engine, they probably have more time to write a more solid story, which is what I'm hoping for. From what we see, it's very dark, uh, which I like, because, you know, the Majora's Mask style. But they said it was going to be even darker than Majora's Mask, which is crazy. Um, and it's probably not going to be one of those saving Zelda storylines that you usually have, where it's like, oh, you gotta save Zelda from Ganondorf seems like we're gonna get something really original this time, which I'm excited for. Last note, we need more cute Zelda. We seem to be getting more cute Zelda. Inject that shit into my veins. Next is a mechanic that I thought would be really, really cool in the original Breath of the Wild, but wasn't really there, and that is crafting. You can already cook and make fires and stuff, so why not add a new layer of depth to the survival of the game? I really wanted this in the original, but we never got it. I've always thought that would be cool if you were in a pinch and you didn't have any arrows, maybe you could craft some with some sticks that you find in like a rock. Or if your sword breaks, you could make a new one with iron and wood really fast. This mechanic could allow for some more creative items as well, like perhaps a more powerful bomb, which obviously would be a consumable because you'd have to make it each time, but it would be more powerful, so it'd have that, like, depth. <laughs> they seem to be toying with the idea of crafting an Animal Crossing New Horizons, so I think it actually has a good chance of making it into this game, but uh, yeah, I just really want it. I feel like that'd be really cool. This is more of a personal thing that I want, and I haven't heard many people talk about it, but first off, Please don't get rid of shrines, because they're really cool and really fun, but also, make the shrines better, please. Don't get me wrong, many of the common shrines that you find while going on the main quest are really fun and great, and it's really, really cool to do, like, the puzzles with the, you know, the, what is it, Chica tablet, and it's just, it's cool. When you get into the late game, though, you get a lot of the, uh, the V's. These tests of strength are fun at the beginning of the game when you're kind of weak and it's, you know, a real struggle to get through them, but once you get to the end game and you're all decked out and, you know, you're super strong, it's just boring. You just have to spend a couple minutes fighting this mini guardian and then it drops, like, some weapons which aren't even as good as the weapons that you already have, and then you just go up and steal the orb from the old man. It's easy. And it's just really really annoying. It kind of reminds me of those dumb moons from Mario Odyssey that take absolutely zero skill to get and just kind of fluff up the numbers so it looks like there's more content in the game than there actually is. It's like, wow, there's 120 shrines in this game, but 45 of them are like, you know, actual puzzles, and the rest are just tests of strength. Basically, in the sequel, I want more real puzzles and real shrines rather than the tests of strength, which are very easy and monotonous. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I know it's a rather short list of wants, 
Uh, I could go, you know, super deep into, like, complicated, nitpicky stuff, but I just wanted to hit the broad topics really fast, because, to be honest, there, is, there aren't that many problems I have with Breath of the Wild in the first place. It's literally my favorite game, <laughs> so obviously, I'm not going to have that many complaints about it, but, uh, yeah, that was my list. Those are just some things that I would hope for that we get in the sequel. Uh, because now that's happening, and I'm very, very excited. It's gonna be so good. Um, but yeah, let me know, uh, first off, what you guys thought of the Breath of the Wild reveal. Uh, cause if you saw my reaction, I was, I was a little happy. I was a little, I was a little bit, you know, ecstatic, you might say. Um, uh, what else? Uh, and let me know what you guys want to see from the sequel. Like, what else? Mechanic-wise or story-wise, whatever. We got Gendor's corpse. We got a short hair Zelda. We got a Link with a demon arm. There's a lot of shit going on, and no one knows what any of it means. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, click the button, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, can you guys even understand what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going so fast. Whatever. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.